hey guys i know it's been a while it's been a little minute since i posted a video but you know your girl is back better than ever it's officially january 20 january 21st it's officially january 1st 2023 so your girl's coming with the content she coming with the vlog she coming with just being consistent you feel me like <sighs> consistency dedication focus is just what i'm on this year like i'm just trying to be bigger and better than i was last year so with that being said today's video is a get ready with me um i am trying out the mario makeup by mario um foundation so yeah let's get into it so guys i went and picked up the Makeup by Mario Foundation. Um, yesterday, the Surreal. So it's called the Surreal Skin Foundation by Makeup by Mario. So I've seen people go crazy over this foundation on TikTok, and from the looks of it, I was like, I need. I don't usually jump on trends and go buy everything I see that trends, but this, honey. I had to go pick her up. I wore this um, last night uh, for New Year's Eve. I went out to dinner with my boyfriend. So, And also, Happy New Year's to everybody. I hope that everyone had a great New Year's Eve, a great Christmas, Thanksgiving, just the holidays, period. It's a new year, so time for a new bag, period. So, um, I already did my eyebrows off camera. I prepped my skin. Of course, I still use the Ola Hickerson. Um, this is the Banana Bright Face Primer. And then I also use, all right, so, the Professional by Benefits. So, skin is already prepped. I am dry skin. Your girl is dry as hell. Literally dry face. So, when I seen this, and it's supposed to be a luminous finish and it's supposed to give like a skin type of finish so yeah let's get into it like i said i already wore it um i will say the face range i mean the face range this shade range on this for the darker complexion complexion could be 10 times better mario get it together the brownies need more shades if you look at if you go to sephora and look at his shades the lighter complexion fair complexion have so many shades when you get to us we probably got about seven or eight if i'm not mistaken so yeah but this is the packaging very sleek very sleek white top just very very nice i really really love the packaging and then also when you go to Sephora when the bottle is inside the package you're able to see the actual um you're able to see your the color through the box so yeah let's get started so I'm going to use I'm sorry I'm gonna, I'm gonna use two pups I'm gonna use two pups and I'm gonna go ahead and blend with the foundation brush to get other coverage so make sure you go under your neck and it is blends like butter honestly it feels like nothing is on your face um i did wear it for a few hours last night and did break up a little bit like in my creases and like right here in the middle of my forehead but nothing too crazy honestly um uh, i got some hair on me so nothing too crazy as you can see, it matches my neck. Um, it's a little lighter up here because I did um, conceal my eyebrows. So, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and 
add just a little pop. Not that much, literally. Go down the middle of my eyebrow. So that's it as far as the complexion and like, like I said it's a luminous oh my arm getting tired sis it's a luminous foundation I know the lighting probably sucks but it's a luminous foundation um really quick I'm gonna go in and Put some bronzer on my eyelid. So I usually just go in with the Fenty um, bronzer and Mocha Mommy on my lid. I don't know if I'm going to wear eyelashes. I'm not sure. I'm not doing anything today. If you know, you know. But New Year's Day is the day that my mom makes her gumbo. We only get the gumbo once a year. Last year, I think she did it for Christmas. But she usually do it for New Year's. So that's what we're doing. We're going to get us some gumbo. And I'm so happy that she decided to do it at my um, my brother's house this year. Which means we don't have to drive an hour and a half to my mom's house. So it works out. So then I go in and I just put the eyeshadow after I put it in my crease, I just go ahead and dab it all over the lid. You know, give it some type of depth to the eyes because, and I don't know if you guys can see, but I have a dry patch on my lid. I don't know, like I said, your girl's a dry face freak so after I go in and just blend it out I go in head and go in with my Fenty concealer and 420 I go in and this concealer lasts me a lot considering the fact that I don't put on makeup every day maybe that's why but this concealer lasts me a long time. And then I just go ahead and conceal. And then I go in with a lighter shade on my nose. So then I go in with another Fenty concealer. Honestly, this is the only concealers that I use. And 360. The last shade was 420. My Fenty Espresso, um, my Fenty con Contour Stick and Espresso. I stopped using this for a little while because I noticed that when I applied it and blended it out, I don't know if it was with a beauty. I don't know if it was a beauty blender or was it me um, applying this stick like dry. I don't know. So now what I do is I warm it up on the back of my hand and then. I kind of go up from like you see where the actual like 
depth of my face is I go a little bit a little bit above that and so yeah um then I just basically just contour I literally that's all I do and then I go ahead and blend out with I blend out my contour with my foundation uh, my foundation brush you're like why can't I talk today it's so weird and it kind of just like bronze me in a sense so I got better at using this stick because at first it was patching me up girl like giving me patch I don't know if it's because I was blending it out with a beauty blender or I was applying it without warming it up I don't know what that was about and then I just go and blend seamlessly um yeah and then I blend out my nose contour with the E15 Morphe brush and then you just make sure you go in all the way up to your eyes And then I go in with, I usually go in with the Real Techniques 200 brush to blend in, but I'm going to use a, blend, a beauty blender today, which I don't even use my beauty blenders no more. This is my first time uh, using my beauty blender in like... I don't know how long y'all it's been a while I'm gonna go back in with some more um contour I do that and then I go in like I said with the real techniques I blend out and then I actually go in before I blend out my under eye I go in with the real oh since I real techniques the rare beauty joy blush uh, this stuff is messy y'all just go in like that and I blend it out with this BH cosmetic um, brush yeah I'm like is this the right brush We goes in with the under eye blend. 
time for a good blend I like to look up so I can be able to get in my creases and that just goes on Super, it blends super flawless into the foundation. Um, you see, it's giving like it's still giving like skin. So my camera cut off. So it's still giving like skin, which I absolutely love. And like I said, this. Look up because your girl don't like them creases, okay? We ain't liking them creases. And then I go back in with the highlighter once more. I mean, not highlighter, I'm sorry. I go in. Back and back in with the blush once more. Because we could have never could never have too much blush, you know? And I just ever since buying this, I think I got this probably like I've been bought it, but I just opened my pa my package probably like a week ago when I used it. So, oh, I used it for Thanksgiving. No, I used it for Christmas. And my niece was like, "That is a pretty blush. Like, it works." Cause I thought I had like did too much. So when she commented me on my um. But I was like, girl, I thought I overdid it. She was like, no, it's just the right amount. Like, it's just the right amount. And then I just go back in and, you know, blend out any creases before I go in with. Laura Mercier translucent honey because girl, you gotta go in with a powder and then you gotta go in with the powder yeah. and then you just apply I don't bake I don't bake like I just Like I said, I don't, I don't want any creases, so I go in with my beauty blender and just press that loose powder in. And then, like I said before, you just I don't know. I just don't like the creasing, y'all. That's the good little look. And then it just gives... I haven't got on... It gives the airbrush look. I haven't got on the... The, um... The little powder puff train yet. Uh, just because... Your girl just don't do makeup that much. And I feel like my beauty blender does gives me that look that the powder puffs gives. So, yeah. And then 
I do bake my nails a little bit though. I do bake my nails. I don't even know how this video turning out, y'all. Even though I didn't put no concealer on my forehead, I still like to go ahead and powder a little bit because why not? And I just, <gasps> y'all, this fell in my sink, but luckily it fell right side up. I would have been mad if I would have lost that powder, <laughs> baby, expensive. Okay, so we go in like that, and then I go ahead and set my contour, or it's like I said, it's a bronze for me, so I go in with the Fenty Beauty Mocha Mommy, um, and then just go in with just a little bit where I lay that contour go in on my forehead and do the same I have to fix my baby hairs that's just my baby out there and um I do go in a little bit with the same nose brush contour brush I use and then just and why my battery gotta be dying that sucks and I don't have another battery y'all Is so weird so then I go in like that and then I go in with a face powder I'll use my Charlotte Tilbury um, airbrush flawless finish face powder I go in use a blush brush or a face brush I don't know and just go all around I go over everything with this and it just gives me like this flawless look like how could you not and then after that I go ahead and blend this in like push it in to the nose and then go around because I don't like a harsh nose contour you see how it's like looking like how I did how I contoured it it looks like my nose is pushed to the side a little bit and want to fix that with there we go. I fixed it. So, and then if I want to, like, if I'm looking at it and being, like, super precise, I'll do that. And go in like that. My camera is literally dying. So... All I gotta do is put on mascara, eyeliner, and lip gloss, and then I'll be done. I might have to finish this on my phone. So, we are officially done. Um, all I'm doing is putting on my lip combo, which is matte chestnut with the Mario Makeup by Mario Bear Glow. Um, what is this? 
the Moisturize or Moisture Glow Plumping Lip Serum. This is bomb. So let's apply. You just, it's so creamy. Like you can't just go in to your hair because then it gets super messy. So, and then it does have that lip plumping effect going on. So, yeah. It just looks like my skin, but better. Um, I don't mind the little the glow of course so yeah let me know if you guys tried it if you guys like it i really love this foundation this is the final look 